Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do May readings for all the zodiac signs. This reading is going to be for Leo. Let's see what's going on with you in May 2022. Ooh. First out is the Nine of Cups. Known as a wish being granted. Nine's being close to a ten. This could be, you know, at the end of a cycle, right before the cycle ends. You get your wish. Hmm. You get the Four of Cups next. The Daydreaming Fantasizing card. Leo, this also could be, you know, a card of... Why do I want to see Manifestation? Hmm. You know, you want something, you know, real bad. You're focused on it. But you want it for the right reasons, Leo. But then something, you could be bringing something towards you. Like this guy in the card. But I, I don't want to say it's something, you know, you're not expecting out of the blue. Maybe you are trying to manifest something. Maybe you get it. Now, if it's being with good intentions, Leo, the universe could give it to you. Ah, you're going to see something clear. You get the Eight of Swords in reverse. This is a self-imposed mind prison in the upright. Thinking about the same thing over and over again and not getting any resolution or solution to it. But blindfolds off now, Leo. You see something clearly. I almost want to say that you're not bogged down with the same subject. I almost want to say that you can think clearly now. Now this could be the energy you're putting out there or the energy coming towards you. Friendship, partnership, loveship, career, family, however it applies here, Leo. But if you are looking for uncluttering your mind, this could be happening here. Hmm. Yep. You get the two of wands now. Choosing a path to go down, Leo. It's like coming to a fork in the road where you have to go left or right. You have to make a decision here. And maybe you're hoping for clarity and not, you know, worrying. Because worrying could push something away from you, Leo. And then it doesn't seem like it's, you know, plausible even to have. But if you're looking for clarity of your mind to make a decision, I think you're going to get it. Hmm. Whoops. Wow. King of Wands here. Leo, that could be your energy. You could be dealing with another Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. I almost feel like this is what brings your passion back. You know, your creative juices flowing again. Feeling like, you know, you want to put things in motion. Maybe you feel like you can conquer the world. Leo, bottom of the deck. Hmm. Wow. Ten of Pentacles. It's like having it all, Leo. The money to pay your bills, the money to have fun with. It's a peaceful fun, uh, family dynamic. Hmm. Why do I want to say right as rain? <laughs> I don't know. But a wish. A wish it even could be, you know, of an emotional status. Because you're thinking about something, Leo. And whether you know it or not, you're affirmating. And I do believe that uh, the universe hears you and your guides are with you. But I almost feel like you're deserving of this. If it's to unclutter your mind, you know, to see clearly or see a path clearly. I think you're going to get it. I think you'll get some sort of acknowledgement. And I think when you do see something clearly, where you couldn't see it before, 
it's going to put you right back in your element. You know, it's going to get you, I don't want to say fired up, but feeling like you again. And maybe that is what makes you feel like you have it all. Because remember, Pentacles is not just about money, Leo. It's about the things that money can't buy that have more worth, love, respect, loyalty, honesty. And something is restored to you. And I feel like it's better than it was before. Emotionally. Hmm. So let's see what the Four of Cups is about. This daydreaming, fantasizing card. This affirmating card. Hmm. Travel. You get the ship. Whoa. Hmm. Broom. Sweeping something under the rug. Oops. Blocking it. Mm-hmm. So, Leo, maybe there's somewhere you want to go. Maybe there's somewhere you want to be. And you sweep it on the rug. You don't give it so much precedence. But it's in the back of your mind. And you're trying to block out. You know, maybe taking a trip or traveling somewhere. And I feel like it's traveling back. So maybe, you know, traveling home. But you still think about it. And you still try to block it out. Traveling somewhere. You know, if this is about affirmation there, Leo, then all of a sudden when something comes clear to you, where there's a will, there's a way. Eight of Swords reversed for Leo. The anchor. Eight of Swords reverse. Hmm, the harvest. That's kind of like the Ten of Pentacles, like having it all. Abundance. Happiness. <laughs> and good fortune. Money. So, Leo, not even is it a place that you thought about, you know, maybe, maybe you want to go to Tahiti, you know, or something. It's always been a dream. But you're like, ah, I'll never reach that. Well, guess what? Never say never, Leo. Because opportunity is coming to you because you're drawing it in. You know, and maybe there's somewhere there you know you'd be happy. It could even be a place that you want to return to that maybe once you found happiness there. Where you felt like you had abundance. That this is the place to be. This is the place to anchor down. Hmm. But it comes clear to you. And Leo, this could have been, you know, it comes clear to you when you were most happy. The one thing that, you know, you wanted to do, but, you know, a lot of us put ourselves on a back burner, Leo. And we don't fulfill our own wants, needs, or even dreams. But this one, this one needs to be addressed, looked at, and Leo, possibly pursued. Now, two of wands. Which way to go? Oh, I got the woman of the house. I got the bear, protector. Two of wands. Whoops. Love. Hmm. Leo, do you, are you trying to protect yourself from getting hurt? Maybe going back to see someone? Or just to see someone, period? But you're guarded. Leo, I would say take a leap of faith and take a chance and take a risk. Travel. Go. See what you can see. You know, don't what if you're self to death. What is could have. Find out. And you know, I think if you do take a trip, sabbatical, whatever, 
However, I think it's going to be the most refreshing thing that you do. And I'm kind of thinking it might be the best kindness that you can give yourself right now. So go for it, Leo. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel. And I'll see you back here real soon. Take care.